you know, what has been changing over the course of history is the, the progress of technology and the progress of automation and so on. And that's some, uh, uh, now in, in terms of where will that go, you know, increasingly things in the world will be done by AIs where we don't understand how those AIs work inside. You know, we have had a period of engineering where we think the, you know, the machine is made from cogs and levers and so on, and we can look at the machine and we can say why it's doing what it's doing. That period, I think, is more or less over. In, in terms of, of the implications of, of AI, do you think that um, AI is behind the, the massive layoff, for example, such as Elon Musk's uh, takeover of Twitter? With, with Twitter, um, there's a question of what is it? Is it a, a system where people can put messages up and it's a purely technical kind of thing? Or is it something that's more a, a curated, kind of uh, sort of managed source of... Uh, uh, of information. And I think if you say it's just the pipes, so to speak, that put messages up and do things like that, um, you don't need a lot of people to operate that. If you say, well, we're going to make something where we are carefully controlling all these pieces of what's going on, well, then you need a bunch of people. People are suddenly seeing that there are a bunch of things that they thought were not automatable, but in fact they are. And, and the way I see, you know, the sort of chat GPT situation is, um, it's, you know, the fact that it can generate human language tells us two things. First, it tells us something about human language. It tells us that human language isn't as complicated as we thought it was. First point. Second point is, what is the real role of that in the way that it fits into kind of the, the world of technology and so on? I think the main thing is that language is like an interface layer. You know, if you have some, I don't know, financial report or something, it really has three important bullet points that you want to make. But yet, for people to absorb that financial report, it has to be dressed in something that is, you know, many paragraphs of text. Did you watch the movie Ex Machina? Uh, yes. That movie came out, it seems like Hollywood movies often come out in pairs. And, you know, that, that is the, and it's usually because somebody sold the script in different places and so on. But, but there was another movie called Her, which came out yeah. around the same time, yeah, which I thought was a, a more interesting kind of analysis of what... Uh, uh, what, what might happen, and it's kind of charming that uh, I haven't yet um, seen, uh, it turns out voice synthesis is actually quite hard, and so there aren't yet chat GPT systems that are hooked up to good voice synthesis to, to emulate the, um, the kind of the dynamics of, of what was happening in, in the her movie, but I thought it was charming in that movie, and the, sort of a, a spoiler for people who haven't seen the movie, but, but um, uh, you know, at the end, the AIs just sort of say, ah, the humans are boring. We're just going to talk to each other. Um, and that's, uh, um, which I think is, is a, uh, uh, in some sense, that's, uh, you know, that will be, in some sense, that's an inevitable thing.